Hey guys, today is November the 25th of 2013. I want to go over the Euro, just give you my thoughts and my opinions. And with that being said, know that this is an educational video only, so please consult a professional financial advisor. I just give you what I see in the charts, thoughts, opinions, just what, you know, stuff I see, and then you decide if that's a good plan for you or not. With that being said, let's get into the charts. All right, so these are the dates I have on the GAN emblem. We're about to uh, end November, and then we're going to move on to December. And you can see that uh, the 20th, we had a big slam to the downside, and uh, we got a pivot today of the 25th. It's only two. Um, could it be resistance? Looks like it's having resistance right now at 35.57-ish uh, around there. I went short. Um at 35.56, I got stopped out when uh, price started retracing um, from the 21st. So I was like, you know what, I'll just wait and see if it fails the one by one again, and I'm going to show you that it did. And uh, I'm short right now, and my target is 30.41, believe it or not. Uh, I'll show you that too. So today is the 25th. We got a pivot day. And the next will be the 26th, and that is uh, tomorrow. Kind of slow, mind you. Just uh, had a long uh, night, so I'm waking up, need my coffee. Uh, and then that's it. We'll move on to December and see what we got going on over there. Uh, Geometry-wise, uh, I think I ran out. There's nothing on geometry, so these are the only dates I have. Um, so let's see what we got. Okay, so this is the downside we had. We this is the pivot high uh, on the 20th. Put a low on the 21st. Bounce right back up. Failed right here. Let's see what we got on uh, uh, percentage levels. 50%, 35.63. Couldn't even get up there. Uh, so fail that. Uh, next one. Uh, you got support at the 34.68. That's the 50%. Uh, so that's an another level you want to keep an eye on if you're short. And then right there, you got a double uh, 25 and a 50%, 35.63. So that was super resistance, and it failed there. Uh, any more? I think that's about it. Those are only, remember, just three. And I got to do this. Okay, so trend line now. We got a trend line from this uh, low here, connected here. It failed it right there. Well, it looks like I don't have my pointer today, so. But you get the point. It failed right there. Let me get my uh, right there. It's having issues right there. So that's uh, trouble number two. I'm showing you. Next, uh, Andrew's pitchfork. Trouble number three, 15, uh, 50 percent medium line. So you're gonna probably gonna be hanging around this highway lane, uh, price action. Couldn't be up here. Look like you're having trouble even to test the uh, 3831, uh, 10.25 or high. So this is probably gonna be the area you're gonna be at. So uh, this is another resistance. Let's uh, hide that and hide that. And now let's look at the, uh, another Andrew's pitchfork. These are the channel between here and here. So you're on this lane right now, on the right side lane. So it couldn't even get up here. It couldn't even pass this area, nonetheless get up here. So this is another support angle you're going to have to watch. You crack this one, and you're going to push lower. You're going to take that out, and you're going to have to take this out. And then we're going to push lower, and then we could probably see 30, 41. So as of now, that's where we at with the Andrews pitchfork. I tied that, and uh, let's look at the swing. You got the A, B, C, and this is the target I have: 3041. Uh, this is the pyramid right here. That's to double to go at. I'm more on your shorts because it's taking all these key levels. Uh, this one you're gonna have to watch this slow. Probably could hold it, maybe bounce off there, but my ultimate target would be here. Uh, I think that's it. 
and swing short. Swing long. Yep, you failing that. That's a 33%, 35, 30, 35, 35, and you already fail it down. So I think that's it for that. Just wanted to show you that. Uh, let's go into, uh, as you can see, the dollar has been getting a lot of Momo. Look at all the dollars against uh, Euro down, uh, Norway, uh, the British pound. Uh, CAD is kind of hanging in there. You know, Swiss, Aussie, and the yen. So this is where it's at. Uh, let's hide that as of right now. And it's 837, so the U.S. session just start. Uh, okay, so this is what we got. You fail the 50 here, and then you fail the 50 again. That's a no-no. You normally should hit it. And then the second time, if you got more, more strength and conviction, you bust right through it. And it failed it twice. So now the selling pressure, it's stronger. People that see that, see the super weakness. And then you've got the 100 that climbed up. So now you got support here at the 62.5% uh, level, uh, which is at 34.89. It bounced right off of that. Uh, still in the mobile, so it could be choppy. You need to take out that 20, and then you need to take out that 200. And you're probably going to find support. 200 to 34.27. Uh, and you see that, you know, we got the sell signal. It got a nice pop, showed resistance with the cherries, and now it's pushing lower. Uh, and you see the spread between the uh, 5 and the 20 and the 50. Boom. Brought it right back down to meet the 50, and now it looks like it wants to push lower. Uh, and you got that cycle turn that all confirmed it. And you got a lower hump here. So it looks like divergence on price. And pushing lower. So you got green. Uh, then it get fully green, so you got some issues. And this is fully red. So this one is stronger than this one. This is the 12 hour daily, weekly, and monthly. On the daily, you fail the 50 again. You pierce right through it, crack down. You got the golden cross, a lot of people see. <clears throat> price went right up. Got a PPS buy signal. Squeezed every week short and uh, failed the 50 again at 35.53. And now price has gone back down. It's kind of hovering around the uh, 20 uh, simple moving average on the daily. You got the 100 right here at 33.97. And then you have this support here of uh, 87.5. Go like this. Actually, no. That's wrong. This one is. Uh, 25%. This is the 12.5. So you're still above here. You got a new moon coming up, which is the 29th or uh, either the 29th or the December the 2nd. Around there um, for Astro Traders. And uh, you got a pop, sell team up. <clears throat> got MACD pushing up higher, but it's failed at 50, so that's a sign of weakness for me. Price is going up here, dark, dark uh, red here. So the Swami's telling you that stay short. Uh, chop mode here, you're between the mobile bands. It's pretty choppy. This is the weekly. Um, and you look like now you're starting to set for a cycle to go up. Um, you got the first indicator going, pushing higher now. Uh, but I don't know if that's going to change. You got big support here at the 50%, which is at 34, 3490-ish. Uh, level right there and on the monthly nothing's really changed um, everything's still pushing out this is just probably creeping down slowly but that's about it um, on the euro we fail the 50 fail the 50 I see that we're probably gonna either kiss this 20 find support there or go definitely test this uh, 200 uh, same thing here. If you fail this, you're gonna go maybe test this level, and then maybe go test the uh, the 200. And if the 200's here at 32.22, uh, well, you're probably gonna then go here on the weekly, and then and then test this uh, 200. So it's like a domino effect with these moving averages. Uh, but as of right now, it's holding the 20 
on the daily. Hope you enjoyed this video. Good trading. Uh, and uh, I'll post another video tomorrow. Make those pips. Peace.